So, some reflections on the Trooping of the Color 2024. What a beautiful day King Charles' birthday parade was on Saturday. Many people flocking in from all over the world. United States, Canada, Spain, Portugal, Australia, New Zealand came down to the mall in London showing nothing but kindness and love. The nation, the royal family really needed this, especially after those very challenging days following the diagnosis of King Charles III and Catherine Princess of Wales. Thank you guys so much for that support. And to all of you who have been following up on my video posts following the Trooping of the Color, thank you so much for your support. Those great comments you've left behind are really, really making me smile. Keep them coming. And please subscribe to this channel if you're not yet subscribed or share it with your friends. But what reflections do we have for the Trooping of the Color? Catherine Princess of Wales' magical appearance after we had last seen her during Christmas 2023 and how that really silenced so many haters out there. We know all of those crazy theories that we are said about Catherine. She's dead, she has filed for divorce, she has run away with her children. She has set up her own home in Las Vegas. <laughs> she will never reappear again. And she did. So what do we learn from that? I think one of those really, really big things we can learn about Catherine Princess of Wales' appearance for this big occasion is how strong, how resilient she is. After all of that hate, she still showed up as Catherine, Princess of Wales, that we knew before she took that medical leave. And I think to the haters out there, this is going to send a big message that you never joke with a strong woman. Catherine is very strong. And I think for now, even if she doesn't have to come back to public duties or to make any appearances for now, that we won't have to see these theories come out again because she has literally put people in their places very, very warmly. <laughs> and that's how Catherine Princess of Wales always does her things. Mm. Her magical wave uh, down and up the mall and her smile was sending a message to people that, you know, I've been watching whatever you have been doing and I know those that have showed great love and support to me. And that was one way of telling us, thank you guys so much. But also the other thing we can reflect on is how the day passed without everybody thinking about Meghan and Prince Harry. I walked down and up that mall in London asking people and there is no single one of them that had a message of, oh, we have missed Meghan and Harry on this event. But instead, many were like, it was actually great for them not to turn up and how people would be disappointed if Meghan and Harry had been invited for this event. Mm. 
And this really shows how the royal family has moved on without Meghan and Prince Harry. Mm. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments section below. We have so many upcoming events for the British royal family, including uh, that usual Christmas Day lunch or dinner at Balmoral. And I don't think Meghan and Harry will also be invited to that one, especially as there wasn't any need to invite them for the King Charles's birthday parade. What are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments section below. And if you have any reflections of, of the Trooping of the Color 2024, leave them in the comments section below and stay subscribed here at francis page media where you always come to catch up with all the latest that is going on in the world of our british royals